hello guys and sorry for me not being present for a while but that's just because I had uh, problems in school and now I'm pro slowly solving them and thank you for 150 subscribers uh, I'm really glad that people still watch me even though I don't didn't make videos lately but I'm about to bring this channel back to life I'm also changing the ma name to making magic because I think that's appropriate name because you know developing games I think it's like making magic and uh, yes I'm also buying mo be better quality microphone I'll take my more time to make videos to render them and uh, created a new intro I also will add a outro and that kind of stuff uh, I'll make this channel a good channel not a crappy channel like it was also yes this is a start of a new tutorial series it's about horror games and this is the first tutorial so this ain't gonna be about my channel and yeah let's start this first open up your unity project I already have it over here and uh, create a new scene uh, I'll be just showing you what it will look like at the end uh, so yeah I, we won't be making this scene we'll be only be making the flashlight on and off and you know uh, that flashlight that will slowly die and it, the bar will go down when it will lose intensity okay so let me just show how it looks and that's a basic scene here in SketchUp and if I press F I can turn my flashlight on if I press F again it turns off uh, and if I press F it the bar goes off while the flashlight is losing intensity and if I press on the bar doesn't go off and if the bar gets to zero or if it gets to minimum uh, the flashlight uh, has no more intensity and as you can see it's like it died because it had no battery so I'm aiming to that okay so I'll just stop here to clear the scene and I'll be right back and I'm back I cleared the scene so we can start okay here I have just a basic first person controller and okay this point light over here is just so it isn't a complete dark and uh, I have this flashlight you can download it from TF3DM I'll be including the link in the description if you want to download it of course uh, you probably know how to add uh, an object to the first person control so I won't be covering that but uh, I'll be covering how to add a light so let's just create a game object light spotlight add this spotlight to the this to your flashlight object and change the position on the all of the axis to zero. Zero, 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 x, y, z, x, zero. Okay. Now, okay, we have that done, but now we have to change the rotation. Here, as you can see, it's on the x axis, this one, x axis. So we have to change the rotation on the x. Here is 90, we have to change it to zero. Okay? So it's facing with the lantern. And leave it like that because you know. It would be unnatural if it come like this from a point. From a, it would come from a point. I want it to come, uh, not from a point, just a bit here, so it's like more natural. And yeah, that's it for the light. Now what we have to do uh, is we have to uh, create a UI. So go to Game Object UI, and first we're gonna create canvas. So we'll be able to add. Uh, different UI components to this canvas and now go to again to UI and create image and it will automatically add image to the canvas so yeah now we have that done uh, we need a bar because right now we have just this white circle right uh, white rectangle over here uh, we have to add a R bar R bar that we created if you don't know how to create bar Go to GIMP, create any PNG of uh, image or in Photoshop, export it, import it into the Unity, and then if you click on the image, you can change the texture type. They change it to sprite with the UI and then click apply. But if you don't have one or you don't have to, don't know how to create one, uh, 
I'll be including the link to download uh, this bar into the description. Uh, and then just go to image and add this bar to your source image and just be, just be going to reposition it. As you can see it already looks better, it's not just a white rectangle. So, okay, we repositioned it and now we have to change the width and height so it's more natural. You know, just some, just what you like, how you like it, and that's, I'm not gonna tell you how to, uh, how it should be everyone has its own, his own taste so I think uh, it, like this it's okay now change the image type to field so we'll be able to change the uh, slowly uh, change the uh, the feel of this uh, bar I mean how much is filled but not uh, radial we don't need radial we need what we need is horizontal so now if I change it as you can see Huh? It's good, okay. It's good, right? Okay. Uh, horizontal would be would do would do just great. Uh, will do just great. So uh, now uh, another thing we have to do, uh, we have to add a script that will turn our flashlight on and off. So go to your spotlight first, and we can change we can change a cookie. So that what that means a texture in uh, so our light won't be just blank. Uh, Let's change it to uh, flashlight. Uh, you can type flashlight in the assets. Uh, you have cheap one and you have the you know the normal ch flashlight. So I'll change it to normal ch flashlight. If you don't have these cookies, you could go to uh, assets, import uh, package, and I think it's under the effects. I think. Yeah, it should be under the effects. But anyway, uh, we change the cookie. Now uh, we have to uh, create an on and off script. I mean just. Uh, Apply it. Uh, go to your flashlight object and uh, or, or anything you have uh, this light under the. I mean, you know. And we have to add a FL and on and off script. Uh, let me just quickly open or open uh, it in model develop so I can quickly explain it. Okay. Uh, variable on uh, the. Uh, Boolean on equals false. It means uh, boolean with booleans we can check on and off uh, things. So uh, this means that boolean will be checked false, but you can check it back on. So active or non-active. A variable shine game object is our uh, flashlight. In the function of Dave, if you if input get key down, click on F. It means if we press our F on the keyboard. Uh, the it will get a component audio source from our from our object that uh, the script is attached to, and it will play the audio on that audio source. And on equals examination mark on that means that uh, two different decisions with F will be uh, toggling with two different decisions with on and examination mark on. On is uh, that our object will light will be set to true active to true and examination mark on uh, will be set to false and this is very useful you can use this uh, you can use this anywhere if you want uh, one key to be operating with two different decisions that's very useful so now let's close this and add a audio source first audio source you can type in audio source and uh, audio clip uh, we have click to I have this audio clip from uh, from Sound Bible, I'll be including the link in the description. It's free download. Check off play on awake and change the minimal distance to somewhere like 25, I guess. Uh, and now we have to change. Uh, so our flashlight is actually on, so we have to change that to on. Uh, and we have to shine. What is the game object? Shine. Okay, here it is. Spotlight. We have to. Uh, Put our spotlight on our shine game object, and if I play now, uh, I can toggle on and off this flashlight. Okay, so we have that done. I, as you can see, uh, hear the sound too. Uh, but now we have to do another thing, and that's our ba uh, main script. It's our UI script. So go to your point or spotlight where you have, uh, which will you will you will be using uh, as a flashlight, and add a light object, a light script I have it somewhere here 
Um, okay, here it is. Now, uh, if I open this script, quickly open the script up so I can explain it to you. Okay, variable light step. The float it means how much it will it will decrease our flashlight intensity every second. And float it means that we uh, don't have to use uh, full numbers. We can also use uh, like 0.0, .0 that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, public variable bar, it means that we'll be using your image. This means that we will be using the our um, our image from uh, our uh, in Unity. Public variable fill amount, it means that we'll be using fill amount and we could add in so it will, it would be full numbers, but by float we can use numbers like 0, 0 as I said before. Uh, and variable bl, the float, this will de decrease our, uh, our fill amount every frame. Uh, and um, variable firelight, this is our light object. So in the update, uh, it will get the component light and it will decrease its intensity every frame by its light step over here. And it will also get the bar uh, from and it will decrease its fill amount every frame minus this BL over here float. Okay, so I'll uh, close that and uh, change the light step. Uh, we'll change the intensity of the light f to 5 and the intensity of the light is equal to 5 but bar length is equal to 1 so uh, we'll have to decrease 5 more times uh, from our flashlight from our flashlight then from the bar so here it will be 0 0.05 and we'll decrease from our uh, bar uh, we'll decrease 0 0.01 because this bar length is 1 and this bar, uh, this intensity of the light is 5 so it's 5 more times than this so if you want it to be equal uh, to the, to shut down equally we'll have to make here uh, 5 more 5 uh, times bigger number so I'll add another 0 here so it won't go down too quickly and another 0 here now we have to add a uh, image uh, image is our the, the canvas just add it in, our bar over here, and firelight is our spotlight, just add it, and we're done. If we play this now, as you can see, it's decreasing, let me just, uh, uh, let it just die, okay, you can turn it off, on, as you can see, it works, and yeah, it's done, now, oh, just in time. And uh, we could change that if you want it to last longer, just add another zero here and another zero here, so it's equal again, and it will go down a lot slower, as you can see. Let me just see it's work, so it's working. Watch my arrow, as you can see, it goes down still, and you can still close it and open it again, and yeah. That was it guys, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, hope you understand it, if you don't, please write me on email on down in the comments below, uh, rate, subscribe and share, and yeah, thank you for watching, bye.